Hey guys, so today we are going to start with BODMAS rule. Now you've learned BODMAS rule in your earlier classes, earlier as in maybe in first class, second class, third class, that is very early. So you all know, you might all must be knowing the full form of the BODMAS. BODMAS stands for bracket of division, multiplication, addition and subtraction. Now, BODMAS is nothing but the priority order in which we solve a mathematical equation or an expression. That is, if I have, if I'm encountering a bracket in a particular, well, mathematical uh, question, then I'll be sorting out or I'll be simplifying out this bracket first. Then in the priority order comes division and multiplication. Basically, division and multiplication have the same priority, but still, well, the words make sense this way, so we write division first and multiplication later. And same is the case with addition and subtraction. If you are encountering addition and subtraction together somewhere, you can either add or subtract. It doesn't matter what you do first, the answer will be same. Now, to do that or to simplify that, we'll see how many, like, first we'll see how many different types of brackets are there and then we'll discuss uh, some problems based on BODMAS principle. The different types of brackets which we are going to study are first is the vinculum or the bar brackets, second is the parenthesis or small brackets, third is, uh, is the curly brackets and fourth is the square brackets or big brackets. Now, what do you think is the need of four such brackets? Well, we, we don't know how many brackets or how many underhand operations a question might contain. So if a question is basically containing three or more than three underhand operations, we might need the use of all these brackets. Or uh, in simple words, if I say, then I can say that the most preferred underhand operation will first be done by the vinculum or bar brackets, following which the parenthesis will be solved then the curly brackets and usually the square brackets are the last one to solve. That is, you have to simplify these square brackets or the big brackets at the last. So, let us now take some problems and understand their uses or understand their priority order in a better way. Now, when I say priority order, the important thing to note that is there is no priority order in terms of brackets. It is just the usual, well, you can say it is just the usual way of writing that we always write the most significant underhand operation with the vinculum brackets if required. That is, if I'm only having three underhand operations, I might start with the parenthesis as well. And if I'm having two underhand operations, I might only use parenthesis and square brackets as well. Because we are more comfortable with these two types of brackets rather than these two. So, the only way to or the only point of learning all these is to encounter is to if we some encounter uh, some problems then we can say or we can make use of these brackets in the right way. Let's just see these two problems. Now, in both these problems you can see that we have used, we have made use of multiple brackets. Now, taking, taking a look at the first problem we can see that we have a vinculum bracket right here followed by a parenthesis then the curly brackets and then the big brackets or the square brackets. Now, it is the usual way of representing data. It's not like that I, I cannot also written this 14 minus 12 in the parenthesis like this. So, it's just because there are a lot of inside that is underhand operations to perform. That is why we use make use of different different brackets. It's not necessary that you have to follow the same order. It all is like that the most uh, significant in, in hand operation will be first solved. So, if I solve this question, then we, will go, we are going to get 9 minus 14 minus 19 minus. Now, this 14 minus 12 will be simplified first and it will become 2. Closing all the brackets and moving on to the next step, we will get 9 minus 14 minus. Now, this parenthesis will be solved and 19 minus 2 is going to give us 17. And now we only are left with two brackets, which are the curly brackets and the big brackets. Now this 9 minus, this 14 minus 17 is going to give us minus 3. So I'll write it as minus 3. Now it is not necessary that you have to write the same bracket always. You can see that instead of curly brackets, I have used parenthesis right here. And now all I have to do is to simplify the bigger bracket. But since there is a minus sign here and here as well, so we'll first simplify the parenthesis and then we will get a result. So this will equal to, this will be equal to 9 plus 3 and we all know that 9 plus 3 is equal to 12. So this question upon simplification is going to give us 12 as the result. Now let's take a look at the second question. 
In the second question, you can see that instead of you making use of a square bracket initially, I have made use of two parentheses. Again, my point is, it is the usual way of representing data. It could have been like that this 44 minus 43 right here, which is well present in the vinculum brackets, I could have also written it like this, that is 44 minus 43. And then again, these curly brackets could also have been used as parentheses by me. But just because we have we have the luxury of using different different brackets so we are making use of different brackets right here and giving this problem a discrete well you can say a discrete visibility so now upon solving we uh, we will get 841 divided by well this 172 will be as it is minus 72 plus 72 minus now this vinculum bracket will be solved first and we will get 44 minus 43 that is 1. Well again closing all the brackets and solving further we are going to get 841 divided by 172 minus 72 plus now this parenthesis will be solved and 72 minus 1 is going to give us 71. Closing all the brackets and Moving on to the next step, we will get 841 divided by 172 minus, now the 72 and 71 will be simplified first and 72 plus 71 is going to give us 143. Now we will have 143 right here, then closing all the brackets and simplifying or moving on to the next step, we will have 841 divided by now this 172 minus 143 is going to give us 29. So I can remove all the brackets and simply write it as 29 and all I have to do now is to perform the division, division of 841 by 29 and upon division we are going to get 29 as the result. So you can see the use of brackets has made this question well quite easy and easier to understand as well as we know which operation do we have to perform first and which operation later. So the only point of using the brackets is to make our question, make our a way of understanding the question uh, easier and not just to represent data in a priority order.